What's up? It's Mike Watson, Freestyle Comics, Short Fuse Media, Super Mad Brother, most enthusiastic man in comics who happens to be very freaking tired right now. Um, don't know how long. Um, don't know how long this Dear Creative is going to be. I don't have a whole lot planned. I uh, want to shout out Rob Anderson, though, um, for talking about. What's up? Pashka, how you doing? What's up, Brandon? Shouting out Rob right now. As uh, he was talking about a Kickstarter that Short Fuse has going for Aligned, Aligned Indieverse, which is just, uh, which hit their goal in 48 hours. Um, what's up, Laura? Laura's the event coordinator for Freestyle Comics. Oh, what's up, Mike Lancet? How you doing? Nothing, man. I'm just, I'm beat. I am beat. Uh, this move is killing. Killing things. Freelancing, working two jobs. And, you know, family life. It's a lot. Hey, Stephanie. No. I'm trying to get the Facebook Live going for uh, Freestyle Comics. <clears throat> Oh, that, oh man, that last episode was a good one. I, Mike, I can't, I can't guarantee this one's gonna be good. I'm just trying to do my weekly episode to get back in the rhythm of it because we got so much stuff. I had so much stuff going on. I'm just, it is still on. It's still, it's still on the Freestyle Comics page if you want to check it out. Um, and there's my post. Yeah. So this uh. Indie comic life. I guess I can talk about the shows I got confirmed for. I can also give you some dates for them. Have I forgotten how to work my phone or something? There we go. We're almost ready. Oh, if you got any, as usual, Dear Creative is where we talk about comics, the business of making comic books, crafting books, publishing them, um, drawing them, ink, all, all, anything that regards to making comic books. And I, I try to answer those questions for you uh, because I've had a very, uh, entertaining comic career that is still in the process of building itself. But um, I've made a few mistakes. I've done some good things. I've done some bad things. Um, and these things I want to help other people avoid so they have a easier time. Oh, does this not work no more? Oh, there we go. Uh, so people have an easier time uh, making comic books and don't have to go through all, what's up, Danny Cooper? What's up, Molly? And don't have to go through all the things that I went through uh, to learn how to make comic books. And when I, when I say that, there's a, there's a lot that goes into that. Ah, like, uh, for instance, I took a comic book class at CCAD. It was the main reason I went to CCAD. I was actually applying at a couple different schools and CCAD won out because they had a comic book class. And because I saw that class, oh, I left it in the car. I'll get them. Um, because I saw that on their schedule of classes, I didn't fill out any other applications. And um, <laughs> I just went to CCAD. Luckily, I got a, a good scholarship there. And, um, but I would never suggest putting all your eggs in one eggs in one basket. Uh, because that comic class, while it was good the first semester, uh, it didn't develop anything for me, for me or my friends as comic creators, like after it. Like we took the class every single semester, just two semesters a year. We took that class every semester for all four years of while we were in college, and the teacher did not advance the class for us at all. Didn't change, kept the same first two semesters and just ran that stuff over and over every year. It didn't ever occur to them to say, hey, I've got, I got like these, these five or six guys that are really dedicated to comic books. Let me, let me make this more advanced for them or let me help them get serious about this stuff. Danny Cooper, as you settle into your new place, can you talk about how your studio space aids in the creative process? I know how epic your setups can be. The setup's gonna be pretty epic. I'm, I'm hoping to make it pretty epic. Uh, if you if you saw the episode last week, I did do the pan around in the room. 
and the room was completely empty. All there was was bookshelves and my drawing desk and stuff. Nothing on them. But as you can see, this week we're starting we're starting to get the toys cataloged up in this boy. See that? Where is it? Ah, yeah. Justice League behind me. Ed McGinnis editions. Completely forgot I had these. Um, there's my Spawn down there, the Spawn collection. That's what started it all. My Naruto books in the easy access. Uh, Sean Max watching. Freaking my... Uh, my Street Fighter toys, <laughs> the uh, in scale edition of them, some of my favorite toys or not. But yeah, having being surrounded by you know toys, artwork, comics, that really does help in the creative process while I'm in my room, um, my studio space working. Just because these are all the things I love, and these are all the things that like I aspire and hope that my comic books and my IPs. Uh, get to this level. I hope that so much that you know, kids, you know, or, or grown grown adults have action figures and posters of Hot Shot in their wall, and it's it's sitting amongst uh, their other toys. But that really does keep my creative juices going because when I'm like I'm down or I can't or I'm hitting a creative wall, I just look around my room. I want to be surrounded by uh, creative energy. I want to be able to look at my toys like, oh shit, that's cool, that's cool. That's cool right there. It just, it just aids in it. And then, you know, when people come over and see it, they're like, uh, that's pretty cool. And I, you know, there I have this Spider-Man setup I do with like 26 Spider-Man figures. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ed McGinnis is a beast. I love his work. Yes, Ed McGinnis is a beast. I love his work. love his work so much that I got the Justice League figures of his art. And I very rarely ever do that. I think the only other figure that I have that's based off of comic art are the classic uh, Ninja Turtle figures and Batman. Um, if you guys can see up there, yes, that is an original die cast lion of Voltron plus the new lions from the new, the reboot. <clears throat> Peshka, are you planning attending Parkersburg? Yes, I am planning on attending Parkersburg PopCon in October. Um, I got my table, same table I had last year. I've just got to pay for it now. Um, <clears throat> so that is the plan. I plan on being there. I have it on the schedule. Um, which, since we're talking about comic book conventions, uh, I got tagged. Where is it? Oh, can I put They won't let me put a picture comment. Look, so I got invited to Wizard World Boise in Idaho. <sighs> yes, Idaho. That's, that's damn near on the other side of the country. I'm going to Boise, baby. <laughs> Cannot wait. Um, I'm excited. So July 13th through the 15th, I will be at Wizard World Boise and um, typing my code right now. If anyone from Idaho is watching or anybody's going out to Idaho, Boise, use my code Watson20 to save yourself 20%. And the tickets are already freaking low. Um, last time I checked, it was like a three-day pass was 40 bucks at Boise. And then you throw my code on it for 20%. Get 20% off of that to save. Sorry, I'm a slow typer. Um, um, <laughs> what's up, Archie? What's up, Juan? Hey, Rob. Um, yeah, I'm going to geek the freak out. Like I'm, I'm geeking out right now. Because, like, like I said, there's a lot of toys I completely forgot that I own, and they've been in storage for so long. So this is almost like Christmas for me, opening this up. And my son has come into my room, like, claiming, like, Dad, is that yours or is that mine? I'm like, it's mine, Miles. You ain't never seen this toy before. I was never trying to claim my toys, man. You've got some. Um, what's up, Mike? Um, so I am – what is it? I am – yeah, so I am on for Wizard World – Boise, July 13th through the 15th. If you use my code Watson20, you will save 20% on your ticket price. Um, I am on several panels, uh, and I have several creative stage appearances. And, of course, I will be emceeing the hype line, which is quickly becoming a tradition at the Wizard World shows. And um, those hype lines have been going pretty cool. I've been giving away uh, free items from Freestyle Comics. And Wizard World, in all their glory and awesomeness, has been giving me... Um, stuff to give away in their name. And the stuff I've been giving away for Wizard World is pretty dang cool. Um, so if you're going to Idaho or Boise, 
um, Wizard World, uh, you're going to want to be in the hype line. I come to the VIP and I come to the regular line uh, and participate because you will get some awesome stuff. Um, I've also, yeah, yeah, Archie, that's Motron in the back. What's up, Stephanie? Um, I got confirmed for uh, Black Age Motor City Comic Con and um, Cleveland Comic Con. And um, I will be at Pack Rat for not another Comic Con. So this last week, I got confirmed for four comic book conventions. And that is awesome. <laughs> that's, that's awesome uh, when people want you at their shows. Uh, so that, uh, that, makes me, that makes me feel good. All special right here in my heart. Yay. Uh, so going to go to these shows. Going to kill it. Uh, well, do my best to kill it. And um, let's see, I had the last two weekends off, but what's up, Matt? Um, turn it up. I'm, I'm trying to turn it up. Um, I had the last two weekends off, but not really because we've been moving and we've had a, we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, we just got the washer and dryer uh, last week and they suck carrying them downstairs. Uh, but it is what it is. So we're, uh, I'd say we're about 60% unpacked uh, working on, you know, getting the house together, organizing stuff. The kids' rooms are pretty much done, except for some accessories or, you know, hanging up stuff and organizing their stuff or whatnot. Um, studio space is workable right now. I, I actually have a couple projects that I need to dive into. I need to uh, reconcile my numbers for short fuse, so definitely got to get that done this week. Um, yeah, cool time. Like, when I unpack, I found this. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is the, <laughs> the Raymond Hall of Fame comic creator. I was inductee. I was one of the first ones in 2010 for the Raymond Power Hour. And uh, I got put into their comic book creator Hall of Fame uh, back when I was, uh, when I first, first started rolling hard on an indie scene. And we were uh, comic related and, you know, found us and stuff like that. And we we're putting out books and people were, Checking out and saying it's the masters of self promotion, Victor Dandridge and Michael Watson. And uh, we were these loud, young, vigorous kids uh, making these comic books. Now I'm loud, old, and fat and making comic books. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, when you put this stuff in storage and then you get to unpack it and you almost like, I knew, like, I knew I was part of this, but to see the plaque again, man, that's cool. Like, I have to put this, like, in a special spot because this means a lot to me. Um, this is a pretty like powerful moment when they put me in this. And I was all misty eyed and excited. Uh, what's up, Tyler? How you doing? Um, so these comic book conventions, man. Uh, being invited to them—that's kind of that's that's a, not kind of it is an honor. That feels really good, you know, when you get the call or email saying, "Hey, we want to have you on our show." And it's like, this is where I want to be at. This is the type of stuff that I want to be at where um, I'm going to comic book shows, but comic book shows also want me to be there. Um, they think that I add some value to what they're doing, and that's that's humbling. Um, and it's not just me. It's, it's me. It's the freestyle comics, you know, brand that we're bringing to the table, too. Um, cosplayers. Can we, can we say cosplayers are awesome? I've always been a big cosplay person, right? Or a cosplay fan. Um, shouting out uh, Nightingale Vixen. I, it's probably, she's top three for me. Top three cosplayers, man or female. She is murderous on it. Um, and then we also have Marcy Lynn, who is the cosplay all star for us. Uh, OG Vigilance, uh, done by Monorail uh, Waters. And then we have Felicia, who is our secondary Vigilance. And we have Jessica, who is coming on board, who Jessica is also our social media uh, manager. She is going to be taking over the role of Titan for us at Freestyle Comics. Um, and so at Des Moines and Columbus, well, Des Moines, I had the OG Vigilance, Monorail, flew out there with us. And what a difference it makes having a cosplayer dressed up as your character. She was working the floor. She had the costume on. She was bringing people over. We were taking pictures with people. Um, I, I got the smart idea of getting a print with just her on it. So when we gave away our free prizes and whatnot, let me see if I can get you guys some more viewers. Yeah, let's get, yeah, get y'all a cooler look. 
right there. Um, so when we uh, did our free giveaway, uh, we gave uh, us a, a, a small print that was comic book size with her signature on it as Vigilance. That would be our giveaway, and then people would take pictures with her holding up the book. So uh, that was really, really, really cool. Um, so we saw we saw the, a good number of books that way. It was a nice little bonus. Uh, in Columbus, I had the whole FSK team. Well, not the whole team. Danny was out of town. He was in Texas, uh, so he couldn't be there. Um, but we had Daniel, the whole team. So Jessica was working on social media for us, and oh my goodness, she killed it, man. She freaking killed social media for us. Laura was there. She was the event coordinator. Um, so she was working the table for us. She was uh, getting the books bag and boarded. She was, you know, getting people over at the table. She was keeping people at the table. Um, you know, she was the, she was the second set of eyes and ears, so we didn't lose anybody there. Um, then we had uh, Vigilance again, and we had Ironsmith there being played by Marcy. So those two cosplayers, having them there was great. And Felicia showed up for a couple of days as well as our secondary Vigilance. So we, we were stacked at our table, and it, it also helped whenever I went on the creative stage. I had cosplayers with me, if not one, but two of them. It also helped at my panels when I took them to panels. So I got my first invite to somebody else's panel outside of uh, the close circle of people I know. Like uh, Victor has invited me to panels before, for, to panels that he's done. Um, but uh, outside of, you know, him knowing me for a while when I was working together, I got invited to a panel in Columbus. And that panel was great. It turned out really, really good, good dialogue, conversation. We're talking about orphans. Um, that a lot of the movies you watch are about orphans. And you don't even realize it until somebody brings it up. And it created it. It created a massively good um, dialogue and conversation. And um, I've been asked to be part of another panel in Boise, so I I, I want to do the panel. I, and as long as my schedule doesn't conflict with the stuff that I I have to do for programming for Wizard World, um, then I'm, I'm going to do it. So um, this this is like I don't. I can't even say I don't. This is exactly like the type of stuff that I want to be doing for uh, my comic, the comic book convention um, part of my career. Like, I want to be on panels. I want to do my own panels. I want to be on the creative stage. Um, I want to be guest at the show. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to show out. I want to show out and uh, have a good time, show people like what I do, what I do, spread the message, get to, get to a new market, get to new audiences. And um, we've been getting some positive feedback from the shows that we've been at customer-wise. Like, people have been sending us messages, emails, and things like that. And we've, like, we've just gotten more. Like, we've always gotten good responses generally from, you know, one person or, you know, every blue, every once in a blue moon, someone to email and say, it was great meeting you. We really enjoyed the books, da 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 um, Every once in a while we get that. But, like, these past three shows, we've gotten more and more of it. So it just gives you hints and nods that you're doing, that we're doing the right thing. We're we're on the right path, and you know we're hitting these things up, and we're working these shows as hard as we can. Um, so I got, what else we got? That's a zero event coming out. Uh, Victor Dan is describing that. Mike Lancet will be drawing that. Danny Cooper will be doing the letters on that. Um, I want to say Veronica Smith is doing the colors, but I don't want to overwork Veronica because she has so much on the plate already. Uh, so we're going to leave that open for right now. Uh, but Victor is knee deep on that book. And man, man, cannot wait for you guys to read the Zero Man. And we have another book that we're going to be releasing um, that's going to be in full work uh, this year. We just signed a new artist and a new creator to Freestyle Comics. So uh, stay tuned. Details are, are coming on that as well. Um, and then uh, this week I was on Good Day Columbus. If anybody watched Good Day Columbus on Monday, uh, I was on there with uh, my secondary art teaching job, uh, Pickerton, uh, Picktown Artworks. And uh, I got a couple minutes. I got to show uh, the Good Morning uh, team how to draw a face, the basics for it. It was pretty cool because I had on my hot shot shirt, which is not this shirt. Um, I had my artwork. We were, they were in my art room with all the artwork posted and stuff. Uh, so it, it was pretty sweet, pretty sweet. I was excited about it. I actually, uh, during the whole broadcast, I drew this. I uh, drew this image of Hotshot during the broadcast. They were recording me while I was doing it. 
Um, so, I mean, a lot of things are happening. I can, I can barely freaking keep up with it. Um, let me actually tag. Uh, so if you are in the Columbus, Ohio, um, if you're in the Columbus, Ohio, Pickerton, Reynoldsburg, um, Gahanna area, Picktown Artworks does these amazing art classes. Um, they have two awesome studios. Check um, out. Um, sign up for the classes. Um, I have three classes I'm teaching this summer, and it's open enrollment right now. So even though uh, we're a couple weeks in, I will extend it to new people that come on. I will, I will get your child caught up, no problems. But we're doing on Tuesdays, I do uh, movie trailers. So me and the kids, we get a bunch of props, or we make props, we work on something for half an hour, and then we go out and shoot a movie trailer, um, which I've been posting a couple of those um, on my page, and Picktown Art has to. Um, Thursday, Wednesday is samurai class. So we learn about the culture of samurai and the way and life of a samurai. And then you have to create your own clan, village, and design and make your own armor, which we'll be making out of cardboard. I've done this project a couple times. I did it last year with Eckert. Um, I've done it for the Boys and Girls Club, and I'm doing it now for Pigtown. Hopefully, we are going to raise the bar on it. Uh, we've done that every time. We've got a little bit more complicated in the design, so I'm hoping to take it to a whole other level with the complication of designing these cardboard uh, samurai armors. And... Um, Thursday is comic creation um, class, which we are using the You Create um, line of comic books. You can check those out through Vantage In-House. Uh, In-House Productions, they make a line of comic book tools that help you make comic books. And uh, I don't know if you can get any more You Create. I don't know if you can get any, any better than that. Check it out, too. You can order that from them. Um, so it's a four-week class, comic book character class. We make comic book characters. And um, and I got two new students coming in tomorrow, so I will. I'm going to be giving them two extra weeks, uh, so they get the full four weeks or whatnot in there. So that's uh, and then at Eckert, <laughs> Eckert connects. Um, I am the art instructor for the day camp, and we take care of kids kindergarten to the eighth grade. I am doing the art classes there, and for the summer we are making. Um, we're doing designs for hip hop. So we've done uh, logos for our musical artists who are making their own albums. Um, we've done their fashion design for their style, the type of clothes that they're wearing. Um, they will be wearing the type of style, the influence of it and things like that. We've designed all that for them. Um, the kids are now making their own action trailers and movies. Um, oh, what's up, Keeman? Thank you. All right, man, I appreciate you stopping by. The video will be up on replay. Um, but yeah, so they're making movies and trailers right now, and then we're gonna switch over. I'm gonna shoot the music videos for the end of the summer in the last three or four weeks. So that's what I'm doing with Eckert. Um, and then I get a couple hours in between, and then I go to Pick Time Artworks. And all throughout all that stuff and the weekend stuff, I am making comic books and going to comic book conventions. Um, so it's a lot. And we're moving. Don't forget that. We are moving. Um, and I have four kids. Yeah. I'm tired. But it's okay. It is okay. Because uh, the moments where you are super busy and slammed, that's when you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Like, or you're getting yourself in a position for, for more, for like that bigger, that bigger thing that's right on the horizon. And um, I've been pretty happy with the progress that I've been making um, with stuff. And I'm super, super appreciative of the people that I work with um, because I would not be able to do a lot of things if I didn't have those people on my team. Shout out specifically to the FSK administrative team. Um, shout out to Victor Dandridge from McKenzie, Dan Cooper. And biggest shout out to Carmen Watson, my wife. She's my biggest supporter. Um, Marcy Lynn and Maana Lay Waters. So, you know, my sister, Marquita, and it, it's just a lot. And, you know, there's tons of people that support me on Facebook, you guys that are watching online and stuff. Uh, if, I didn't met, if I didn't mention you, I'm sorry, I'm just scatterbrained. And there are a ton of people that help me and support me and, you know, get the comic books and tune into these shows or share my posts. So thank you. Thank you to everybody, everyone. Uh, where would I be at without without y'all. 
I'll just be some kid in the basement drawing pretty pictures of superheroes or whatnot. But yeah, so oh, I think that's all I got. Um, yeah, can't think of much else. But, you know, wanted to get back into the swing of my Dear Creative episodes on Wednesday, like they're supposed to be. Um, my class is in at 8.30, so my Dear Creative episodes uh, t probably won't really pop off till 9 o'clock. Um, so they will be getting moved back a little bit. I should probably adjust that time on there. But, you know, they'll be up. And next week, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, you can put them in this post. Hey, Aisha, I didn't see you join in. Um, or you could uh, put them on our share thread actually if you guys are see this is how how long it's been since I've done this because I normally would have had that link in there uh, oh, freestyle comics I'm gonna, I'm gonna link the event page for dear creative copy that link in there join that and you'll get notifications about the group and they'll tell you when the episodes are coming up and all that jazzy business <coughs> cough cough but you know, that's that. Let me get that back over here. Yeah. Where is it? I can figure it out. I like to do more than one thing. Here it is. Dear Creative. See, the next episode is, no, today. <laughs> June 27th. That was today. All right. So that's the event page. I'm going to go ahead and bang out. Again, if you guys have any comments or questions, rather questions about making comic books, existing in comic books, you know, from the drawing aspect to the production aspect to the printing aspect uh, to whatever aspect of making comic books or the journey uh, from getting from point A to point B, please post the questions and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Hey, Sonia. Um, I am not the end-all be-all, and my way may not work for you. My way is not the definitive way. As I've said, I've run into a bunch of potholes. And the main purpose of this show is to have a weekly discussion about where we're at making comic books or where, where Freestyle Comics is making comic books, where I'm at with short fuse and stuff like that, and um, discuss it. And, you know, so you guys don't make the same mistakes that I've made and get off to a, a easier jump off on these books. But thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you guys next week. I've got to come up with like a, a really cool, cool sign off for this. Like, I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it later.